you have two options. The first, you just memorize the names of layer using all people seems to need data processing to pass the paper or you spare 15 minutes of your life for this video and after that you will not have to look for any better explanation of OSI model. I explained everything with examples. So this video is best possible option you can have in free of cost. So don't waste your time and take note of this video. So let's start. OSI model stands for Open System Interconnect was formalized by International Organization for Standardization in 1984. OSI is a reference tool for understanding how the data is communicated between any two network system. Networking is complex. So OSI model divides the complex functions of computer networks into seven different layers. So to easily understand the system. Let's look at an analogy that why layered architecture is so awesome. Imagine an airline company. Why do they hire different kind of people for different work at airport? They hire guards, computer scientists, managers, laborers, pilots, air hostess. Why don't the airlines hire same kind of people and why do they divide their job functions? And each one of them is assigned to do a specific kind of work. Let's have another example of a pizza company. They have three kind of people. Receptionist to confirm the orders, a chef to bake pizza and a pizza delivery guy. A clean three layered process with each layer have defined inputs and outputs. Receptionist gets the order. He confirms the order by call and pass on to the chef. Chef then bakes the pizza and provides to delivery guy which he delivers to customer. Imagine if employees of pizza companies have to do all these functions by themselves. Confirming the order, then baking the pizza and then home delivery. Now you must have understood the importance of layering. Now let's look at some benefits of layered architecture. The overall development speed increases if you hire different kind of persons. The quality of specific portion of a complex system can easily be discussed. As each layer acts as a separate module and is self-contained, so implementation changes in one layer doesn't affect others, as long as the input and output to this layer is same. For example, by changing your chef or recipe of pizza will not affect the delivery guy and receptionist, as long as the chef is receiving orders from the receptionist and providing pizza to delivery guy. Imagine how difficult it would be to explain networking as a single unit and without layered architecture. Believe me, it would be a chaos. So, to solve this issue, ISO proposed a 7 layered reference model for networking. Before going into details of these 7 layers, it would be very beneficial if we discuss a real life scenario and then deal with the technicalities of these layers afterward. So, We'll discuss a scenario named as King's Meeting in which a king in Arab country want to send an invitation letter to king in France. The king is not supposed to send his letter all by himself. So the king will call his minister and dictate him a very long letter with details including agenda of meeting, growing economy and so and so in Arabic language. The minister will write down all the details and then convert the Arabic language to French so that French people could understand. Then he'll encrypt the letter to maintain secrecy and compress the content as much as possible for easiest delivery. As minister is himself at very high post, so he also call his secretary and pass on his work. As secretary knows the importance of this letter, so he called at French palace and, and tell the secretary of French state that we are gonna send you a very important letter, so please let us know as soon as you receive that and then started a session. And secretary at French palace agreed on this. Now. The secretary will pass this letter to coordinator and ask him to attach the further details to this letter and send it. The coordinator will break down this larger letter to smaller chunks and attach sequence number for identification of order and write down the name of intended receiver at French palace on this letter. Till now, letter is still moving inside Arab palace. Now after all this pre-processing, Letters are finally moved to transport officer so he can decide a mechanism to move these letters out of palace. Now, 
ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑफिसर विल डिसाइड द रूट दैट शुड बी फॉलोड एंड राइट डाउन एड्रेस ऑफ फ्रेंच पैलेस ऑन द लेटर एंड कॉल वन ऑफ हिज ड्राइवर एंड टेल हिम द रूट टू फॉलो एंड पास हिम द लेटर ड्राइवर इज नाउ रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर एर फ्री डिलीवरी ऑफ दिस लेटर दिस ड्राइवर इज असाइन टू डिलीवर लेटर टू जस्ट एट स्पेसिफिक पॉइंट नॉट एट द अल्टीमेट एंड दैट इज French Palace. In the next step, driver will now choose a vehicle and put this letter on it and deliver it to next transport officer. This transport officer will decide again the next route to destination and call one of his own driver and pass this letter to him. Again, the driver will choose a vehicle and put this letter on it and deliver it to next transport officer. The vehicle used by these different drivers may not be the same. After maybe three or four transport officers, the letter would finally reach the French Palace. The intended receiver at French Palace was Tom, so he combined the letter using sequence numbers and made them a single unit. And then he'll pass them to secretary so that he can acknowledge Arab secretary that they have received the letters. And then secretary will give them to minister because he himself is not authorized to meet the king. Minister will receive the letter and will confirm that the language format is French. Then he will decrypt it and decompress the letter. Once all done, he will provide the letter to King of France. Now you must remember the whole process of letter transmission because it is in fact so important to understand how OSI model works in networking. So assume that King heard about a very powerful technology called as internet and passed a new order that from now on. all the communications would take place using internet now let's look at side by side comparison of how the processes will change in osi model the first layer of osi model is called as an application layer in which the user interacts directly with network aware applications like browsers or teleconferencing apps imagine if developers of these application would have to control all hardware communications bits current circuits etc it would take lifetime for developers to build a single app so developers only write the business logic of application and for all network related functionalities applications request network layer protocols for example ftp for file sharing http for web and smtp for mail transmission the second layer of osi model is presentation layer in which the ministers changed the language format that is from arabic to french encrypted the content and compressed the data presentation layer will do the same it translates the data into destination format for example ascii to abcd code encrypt the content and then compress if required in the third layer which is called as session layer secretary established a session with french palace same in the osi model session layer helps you sign in once and use the resource till the session expiration you don't have to authenticate yourself for each packet for example in facebook in the next step coordinator segmented the letters into smaller chunks and gave them sequence number for identification of the order and then put on his own name and the name of the intended receiver at french palace in osi model transport layer segments the larger message and assigns sequence number to them then it adds the port number of destination application and the sending application it also decides the type of delivery that is connectionless or connection oriented in the next step transport officer added the address of french palace and decided the route that should be followed transport officer is not responsible for physical delivery he is only a decision maker in the network layer of osi model ip address of destination computer is attached to the segment received from the transport layer and route is decided to which the packet should be forwarded there are two kind of protocols in this layer routed protocols and routing protocols routing protocols are actually the algorithm that finds out the shortest path from source to destination and routed protocol for example ip is used to send that data from source to destination and the device used to communicate among networks is called as router in the next step driver received this letter from transport officer and is responsible that letter should safely be delivered to next person in data link layer of osi model there are further two layers logical link layer and media access layer logical link layer is responsible for error free delivery of the message and media access control layer ensures when the transmission media is free to send our data
the source MAC address and destination MAC address will be added to the packet that had been received from the network layer. The last layer is actually the vehicle that is the car, bus or plane used to reach the destination. Same like that in OSI model the physical layer is actually the transmission media that had been used. For example coaxial cable, ethernet cable, fiber optics or a wireless media. This is the summary of whole OSI model that we had explained right now. We read the layers from bottom to top. The first layer is called as physical layer. Physical layer is actually the hardware or the transmission media that had been used. Data link layer is responsible for link to link delivery that is delivery inside the LAN. The device used here is a switch. The third layer is network layer. It is responsible for end to end delivery of the message that is from the very initial source to the very last destination. The device used here is router. The fourth layer is transport layer. It is responsible for application to application delivery. For example, the browser to browser, the browser in sender's PC to the browser in receiver's PC. The next layer is session layer. This layer is responsible for creation of sessions. For example, in Facebook, you must not have to authenticate yourself for each packet that you are sending to Facebook server. The second layer is called as presentation layer. The sixth layer of OSI model is presentation layer, which is responsible for format conversion, encryption and compression. The last layer is application layer. It contains the application level protocol, for example, HTTP, FTP, SMTP that helps network aware applications to communicate over the network. 